Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner, available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. Now in this episode, I would like to discuss something that I think I've probably only briefly touched on so far in C++ Weekly. Uh, and honestly, if I have done a full episode about it in the past, it wouldn't surprise me, but I wasn't able to find one when I searched. But that is covariant return types. And this is kind of a key thing that C++ allows um, in our inheritance hierarchy, but you don't see used very often. And it also has a little bit of pain points. So let's say we've got some sort of base class. And we've defined this virtual, pure virtual function called get child. It returns a pointer to an object of type base. So we have this uh, simple derived type now that derives from base and it has its own get child member function. We've marked it override and it returns a pointer to child, but we actually have our own derived pointer internally. And this is, I would say, probably obviously valid if you know anything about C++ and inheritance. Now, if I wanted to make this uh, function here actually turn an object of type derived, then I can, because this is known as a covariant return type. Now, note, if I wanted to make this return something that is a pointer to an integer, I'm going to get this conflicting return type specification. But if I make it a pointer to derived, then that is allowed, because derived is derived from the base type and they have this polymorphic inheritance relationship. So that right there is covariant return types in a nutshell. But this is a little obnoxious because we're returning a pointer and uh, we really don't like returning pointers from functions. It raises all kinds of questions about who owns the object and that kind of thing. So we can actually do this with references as well. And I just have to dereference the thing here. Now, of course, this becomes its own problem because I need to make sure that my child is in fact a valid pointer or have some other way of handling this to make sure that we're not doing something that is potentially dangerous. But note that you cannot return objects here, polymorphic Covariant return types cannot work with objects. They can only work with references and pointers. Now I'm going to get rid of this here so that we know that we can still create a thing of this type, but it says invalid covariant return type, blah, 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 here. So it doesn't tell you why it's an invalid covariant return type, but it must be a pointer or a reference. Now, the gotcha and the pain point here is let's just say that I wanted to have a unique pointer. to my child. I can return a reference to this thing, but if I wanted to return a unique pointer, actually, let's make this a shared pointer instead for the sake of having the ability to compile this, because as you may know, you cannot copy a unique pointer. So this is where you might find yourself trying to do this in C++ today and not be able to because shared pointer of derived and shared pointer of base are not related to each other by inheritance. Uh, as far as the compiler is concerned, these are two completely different types. Now, you've probably noticed that you can implicitly convert a shared pointer of derived to a shared pointer of base, but you can only do that because there is an implicit conversion operator in the form of a single parameter constructor that is not explicit in shared pointer that allows this kind of conversion to happen. Now, it would be awesome, in fact, to have something that is like a smart pointer, but is itself also covariant, uh, related to its own base class by inheritance. 
And I think it would be possible to create something like that I've never tried before. So I'm going to go ahead and try to just stub something together right now that maybe could work. Okay, it looks like this actually could potentially work in some way. So I've got this covariant pointer, and I have to explicitly say that the base is uh, what the base type is and what the contained type is, but then this lets me actually return this thing. So let's take this another step forward if we think we can. So we're going to go ahead and give this a smart pointer um, underlying value that works. And then we also need to do I see. Okay, invalid use of incomplete type struct derived. So the problem is that I'm using this inside of the type that I'm trying to run a type trade on. So it looks like we cannot, in fact, put the static assertion in here to enforce this, which is um, unfortunate. But uh, it looks like something like this could work. It looks like that we could make our own covariant smart pointer type that is a simple ramper around a shared pointer that gives us some of the behavior that we want from covariance and covariant return types while also giving us smart pointer-like facilities. I don't know. It's an idea, something that I've been meaning to play with for a while, and I just did it here for this episode. So I hope you appreciated this episode, maybe learned something new about covariant return types, and maybe uh, got you thinking in some new direction and some design that you're working on, perhaps, if this is relevant at all. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching this episode of C++ Weekly.